the little wobbly footage, my mom was helping me hold the camera because <laughs> the, wobbly, sun, the sun was so bright uh, this morning. Anyways, I have really been enjoying these Verdio, Verdio uh, sunscreens from, uh, I got I get them on YesStyle, the brand Omi, a uh, Japanese sunscreen. Uh, I showed the Verdio UV Moisture Gel, I think it was called, in my UPF 50 clothing try on video so check that out if you want to see it going on but uh, this is the moisture essence honestly they're both pretty similar as far as you're not going to notice any marked difference between the two they have uh, chemical filters they have tennis orb uh, and are free of added fragrance they have a bunch of antioxidants which I've said in other videos numerous times antioxidants and sunscreens are a little gim are gimmicky because they can't really get into the skin to scavenge free radicals because of the uh, film forming agents required in order for the sunscreen to work. But anyways, this, I really, I really like these. They go on really nicely and they give kind of a nice luminosity to the skin. They're comfortable to wear. They don't burn or sting. And I've been really happy with them. And by don't burn or sting, I mean they don't burn or sting me. But if you have really sensitive skin because these are chemical sunscreens, it could be an issue for you. Uh, mineral sunscreens tend to be a better choice. I reviewed a mineral sunscreen for you guys in yesterday's vlog, um, so check that out. But yeah, this one I, I really am. You guys know how much I love my rice cauliflower. I was looking at these um, veggie bowls, and they don't seem that horrific in terms of sodium is only 6% of your daily sodium. That's pretty good for an instant soup. Uh, one of these is 130 calories, medium spice. They have yellow curry, Thai stir fry. Here's a fad Thai one. Ooh, yeah, they're vegan. Cool. This one's one. last 120 sodium. Probably doesn't taste like anything. <laughs> Comment below and if you've had those. I did try recently, let's see if they have them, the, um, so I actually recently tried these and oh my gosh, they are really good. The Smart Sweet Sweet Fish, they're vegan and they're sweetened with um, stevia and one bag has only three grams of sugar, 80 calories. They're really good. I was surprised. And they're, they don't have any sugar alcohols like a lot of sugar-free candies do. And the sugar alcohols in sugar-free candies, they can upset my stomach, uh, at least for me. But I also want to try, I think the peach rings, are they vegan? Yeah, I want to try the peach rings sometime. Comment below on if you've had the peach rings. But the fish are re were really good. Hey guys, so now that we're indoors, I'm in the bright sunlight you can see how that Verdio, Verdio sunscreen looks on but yeah it's really comfortable to wear and not greasy or anything so I like it. We're back to our usual routine. Was it two weeks we missed? I think so. Yeah I think so. It's kind of nice to be back out of Yeah with the holidays. <laughs> anyway here's my, I got an oatmeal sundae Ooh, basically. It it's a loaded oatmeal. There's uh, chia, flax, um, sunflower seeds, pecans, and strawberries. Mm. And lots of cinnamon. <laughs> yeah, I got uh, cauliflower rice, cauliflower rice tabbouleh, uh, butternut squash, peas, dried apricot, pumpkin seeds, uh, peanuts, black and white sesame seeds, chia seeds, and toasted coconut. I'm gonna put some uh, brags on there. <laughs> There's also some edamame buried in there too, I think. We watched a movie on Netflix called Francis Ha, H A. Yeah. It was really cute. I recommend it. And it was actually in black and white, wasn't it? Yeah. But it was really cute. We watched that, and then a few weekends ago, we watched a movie on Netflix called The Marriage. Is that what it's called? Mm hmm. And that too was really good. Yeah, that actor. I yeah, like the guy from uh, that show on HBO, Girls. His first name is Adam, but I'm not sure what his last name is. I really like him. And his his voice, just his talking voice, has this kind of range of 
pitches and tones. It's sort of an interesting sounding voice. I like, I like yeah, him. Yeah, that was a good one. Yeah, it was really good. Then, then um, the family, not too sure about that one. Yeah, that was creepy. We only watched That was creepy. What, 40 minutes? No, we watched the whole thing with the exception of the last four minutes of it. Um, I think it was just the one episode so far. I could be wrong though. It's, it seems like it's a series. Gonna be a serious. It's making me scared. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we came over here to Big Lots because I need to get a another bin to store some of my Christmas decorations in since I'm putting everything away. Boo boo. I always have interesting stuff in here. Like hey. Unicorn onesie, anyone? That's a good deal on chia seeds, three dollars. Peanut butter jelly time. They're non gamo What do you know? It's a joke. <laughs> Break everyone's heart when I tell them that I would not recommend these Freeman face masks because they're thing about like fragrance and irritants. But I get it. You enjoy them. So just know that anytime you put fragrance on your skin, it's just adding adding risk of irritant dermatitis and contact dermatitis, but it's not as though I've never used fragrance containing products in my life, so choose your choose your battles wisely. If that's something you enjoy, just know it comes with a, a risk. Same with vitamin E. Topical vitamin E has actually been shown to worsen the appearance of a scar. Um, oh look, you guys. Sorry not to go jumping around. Is this the uh, fragrance free one that I've got? I don't think so. It'd be great to have a mini one for travel purposes. I'm about finished with my Pond's uh, cold cream fragrance free and um, it's been great. <laughs> we've, we've had a great time together but I've got a massive tub of uh, Here's your boy? Uh, gosh I'm blanking on what it's called. You know the mineral oil cleanser certain name here. Ooh, battery's gonna die soon. Gosh, what is that called? Albaline. Look, we have this uh, Sound Body Daily Facial Moisturizer with SPF 15. This is a chemical sunscreen free of added fragrance. This is a decent uh, potential. This has potential, I will say, as an everyday uh, moisturizer for the face, even though SPF 15 is nowhere near enough. Plus, the way people use sunscreens in general, they underapply them, but when it's a moisturizer with sunscreen, they super underapply them. Uh, they don't put them to every, every sun exposed surface on the uh, head, ne head and neck. So they get a lot of, there are a lot of skip areas and they don't apply multiple layers. That's the problem with relying on moisturizers with sunscreen is just, you don't apply enough of it. But uh, that being said, uh, the added, the chemical filters in this, they don't, you know, if you wanted to use this as a moisturizer and then put another sunscreen on top of it, go for it. That's, that's decent. Hey, look, it's, uh, man this product is not manufactured or distributed by, by Galderma. Okay, so they're clarifying that this is in no way Cetaphil. They're making that clear. This looks like it has potential, though, as a moisturizer. I bet it, it causes stinging and burning for some, though. Because chemical, chemical filters can. Alright, you guys. The Dead Sea Collection Body Oil Retinol. Does this have added fragrance? Yes, it does. So let's avoid that. Yeah, I've got a video on retinols, you guys. I tell you everything you need to know about retinols. And so whenever there's a new one that comes out, just refer to that video. Because I'm going to say the same thing over and over again. Not as good as prescription, but maybe worth considering if you can't get access to the prescription for the reasons that I list in, in that video. And then I point out, avoid products that have added fragrance. And I also point out why I can't ever compare multiple different retinol products because they're non-drug cosmetics. So basically what I tell you in that video is all I can tell you about any retinol. I have used my air fryer religiously, but I pretty much only make the radishes in there. I mean, that's what I make on a consistent basis. Tofu also comes out quite good. All right, I need to focus because I came in here for a bin for the remains of my of my, uh, oh, sweet, little mugs. 
the remains of my Christmas decor that needs to go in the storage shed. Though this is the brand that my air fryer is, Bella. I've been happy with it. I got it at J.C. Penney a long time ago. They no longer carry it, um, but I'm, I've been happy with it. So imagine if you're in the market for a cotton candy maker, this would be a a good one to give a whirl. It has a uh, Valentine's decor out and gifts. FYI, what is this? Profoot Heel Rescue Superior Moisturizing Foot Cream. Okay, that is a that is a hefty, a weighty promise. This actually does look pretty good. Not tested on animals. Uh, argan oil, squalane, mineral oil. Comment below on if you've ever tried this. Looks decent. Tabby bow. So, somebody hit a milestone today, correct? Yeah. He did it. He put yes. the ball in the eye fetch and launched it himself. Twice he did yeah. it. But it's not consistent. Yeah. We, we hide the balls when we're not here so he doesn't set them off by himself alone, FYI, unsupervised. He's looking for, for it. Where's Oh, little boy, you're I so smart. I can smell him. <laughs> yeah, there are a lot of little uh, clips on uh, on YouTube of doggies with the eye fetch. Yeah. It's so cute because they, they really get the hang of it and they do it by themselves. Hopefully he'll reach that Level. He knows. He knows about it. He just doesn't want to relinquish yeah. the the control he has over us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because yesterday, his ball, he put his ball up on the couch in an effort to get you to throw it. He put it up right next to your leg on the couch. And it rolled off of the couch and it went under the couch. And now he didn't actually see that happen. But he was able to sniff out the fact that the ball was under the couch, and then he put his 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 front paw under the couch and swiped it out. So he knows, you know, he's resourceful and can locate and and acquire things. And he knows about the eye fetch, but he doesn't want he doesn't want to relinquish control of of the uh, humans. I'm training you guys. You would have so much fun. <laughs> yeah, we have some toys that we have stored in there, and from time to time he insists we get them out so yep. we can play. He's looking around. Little boy. I'm a dog. I'm a dog. I'm a dog. I'm sniffing out. So, you guys, I mentioned in my uh, 2019 skin and hair care favorites video how I really ad have been adoring the function of beauty and that I um, am still working on my shampoo and conditioner. It's just a little bit goes a long way in that massive bottle. But I did order the mask, the hair mask, which is free of added fragrance. And I also ordered the hair, Tybee, the hair serum. Uh, which also is free of added fragrance. I was interested to try these because they're kind of leave-on deep conditioning treatments, which are great if you have split ends, long hair, or if you have um, dry, brittle hair and you're trying to reduce hair breakage. But the problem with those kind of products is that they're often laden with added fragrance. Tybee, you don't need to get your little toy out of there just yet. Um, but the mask has... Um, argan oil in it and it also has um, uh, rice rice seed extracts jojoba esters and then the hair oil also has um, I believe argan oil in it and sunflower seed oil and soybean oil you want to be careful though with the hair oils to just put them on the the like uh, tips and kind of more on the shafts of the hair and not the scalp they just kind of help in uh, reducing 
high growth fatigue with cleansing, but you want to avoid them on your scalp because the problem with oils in the scalp is that that can facilitate um, the comfort level of malassezia yeast that live in our scalp and contribute to dandruff. And also the oils and things they can get on our skin, cause irritation, flares of acne, acne cosmetica. But um, I'm, I'm looking forward to trying these. I love how you can get your name put on them. I always get Function of Dry. And the orders always come with stickers. And the stickers are perfect for um, my planner. But these are more holiday wintry themed, which I love. Look, there's even a little Bialetti sticker. Oh, it's gonna be perfect in my um, in my planner. Oh, I love these. These are really functional stickers for my planner. I'm just as excited about the stickers as I am about the, the hair products. I look forward to trying this out. I am gonna do a video uh, probably with these products and show you guys kind of my tips for tips for your hair tips <laughs> uh, for reducing hair breakage when you're growing your hair out long um, and what I what I've done to keep my hair healthy as I've grown it out all my little all the little things that I do so yeah you guys said you wanted to see that video so I look forward to making them and what can I help you with have, really have you been doing a mask on your room. your pretty tail? Tybee's tail is really very handsome. <laughs> is one of your balls in the laundry room? Don't chew your pretty tail. So, we just got back from Big Lots, and I did, in fact, get a large uh, storage container for my uh, Christmas decorations, but I also got these little glass bowls, because I've really been into making the soy yogurt in my Kosari multi-cooker. It has a yogurt making function. And that soy milk yogurt has been, it's been amazing. So I've been having that in the morning and I've been adding chia seeds to it to make a chia seed yogurt pudding. I also add a little bit of cocoa powder and stevia to sweeten it. So it's basically like a chocolate pudding. And then I put berry toppings and whatnot on it. But I got these little glass bowls because they'll hold about one serving and I end up with about six servings so that way I can have a larger bowl of it somewhere else and then four little individual ones. What are you sniffing around a for? Yeah you like it that yes. soy yogurt. It's good right? Very good. It completely does for me what yogurt used to do. It's got the you know, sharpness, I, enjoy, I enjoy it yeah. You know the sharpness that yogurt should have? Mm -hmm. And plus, it's thick. And it's got a, it's a good protein source. Oh, I need that. And no, no, uh, very, very low sugar. <laughs> Update on the pilly nuts, though. I am enjoying these, but I don't necessarily think I would go out of my way to repurchase them. Solely because they were a little on the pricey side. Actually, they were pretty pricey. Um, but, like, if I lived in an area of the world where they had pilly, pilly aplenty, I would definitely eat them. But to go out of my way to, to get them given how expensive they were, I don't think I would repurchase necessarily. What do you think? I know you're, you're the nut connoisseur. Um, that's one nut that I can the leave nuts behind. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think it was the, the little paper casing on it that I, yeah. kind of puts me off. Yeah. Uh, and I don't know why that is, but. Yeah. Yeah. It's got like a, when she says paper, she means papery. It's not an actual true yeah, paper. No, it's not paper. I'm going to show you if you. Let me start tasting of it. Yeah, it's got kind of this brown papery. It looks kind of like a roach, actually. Um, that you kind of have to roll off. So they're a little messy to eat. And I don't know if they come with a hard shell and if that's maybe the... Well, a viewer was telling me that she lived... I forget now the country... Unfortunately, Peru, maybe it was. No, the Philippines, isn't it? Yeah, the, these can't come from the Philippines. Anyway, she said that the um, shell was really bizarre looking. Oh. And I, I had intended to Google that, and I forgot. So I'm going to Google it yeah, right now. I, I want to see what the pillow shell looks like. At them? I don't think they look that odd. Maybe, yeah, they kind of look like, I'd imagine, almonds look in the wild. <laughs> There's a cross section of them coming out of the casing. They do look kind of neat. Daddy, 
tiny bow. Anyways, guys, I'm going to wrap up the vlog here. Um, it's been a long day. <laughs> it's going by quickly. Um, I hope you all enjoyed it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs, thumbs up, up. Share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, sunscreen, sunscreen and, subscribe. and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. Have a Bye. great week, everybody. Bye.